everyone. My name is Autumn Rigby, and we're going to discuss the accreditation and approval process for higher education universities. There are some similarities between accreditation and the approval process. Both share a goal of quality and safety. They both measure their success through evidence-based outcomes. They also both share outcome metrics. This includes licensure passage, passing rates, employment rates, and graduation rates. You can see from here, there are also some differences between the two with accreditation and approval. Accreditation is usually more it's national, where approval is statewide. Accreditation has the authority to remove their accreditation from um, the school, and approval has the authority to close nursing programs that are not meeting state standards. Accreditation is run by a private nonprofit, and approval is run by state government. Accreditation is voluntary. Um, the program can voluntarily get accreditation, whereas the approval process, you have to obtain a licensure um, for the BSN program. Accreditation can take eight to 10 years, whereas the approval process length varies from state by state. Um, most are from one to five years. The mission for accreditation is to maintain quality nursing programs, whereas the mission for approval is to protect the public. Higher Education University's accreditation agency that they use for their BSN accreditation is Commission on Collegiate Nursing Education, also known as CCNE. Four standards for accreditation. There's the first one, which is program quality which requires the program to have quality educators. Two, program quality institutional commitment and resources, which requires the institute um, to have enough program educators. Program quality number three, which is curriculum, which includes the curriculum must be based on patient-centered care, um, quality and safety, informatics and healthcare technologies, evidence-based practices, and quality improvement. They also have to be um, personal, professional, and have leadership development. Program four, um, which is program effectiveness, assessment and achievement of programs outcomes. So this requires fulfillment of the program's mission and goals through their outcomes. We'll use this to show um, improvement that has been made or continuing improvement that's made throughout the years. The standards influence the nursing curriculum because without properly following the criteria listed by the CCNE, the program would not have the ability to be accredited. CCNE accreditation also represents quality educational practices. So when, once that university has that accreditation label for them, it just shows a quality educational practices. Now, moving on to Higher Education University's BSN Approval Agency. This is the National Council of State Boards of Nursing, also known as NCSBN. NCSBN quality indicators for Board of Nursing, which is BONs, um, include administrative requirements, criteria for student admission performance and progression, as well as written policies and procedures that faculty and students can follow. Program directors, for the program di directors, for a registered nursing program, they must have a nursing degree and be doctoral prepared. Program directors for a practical slash vocational nursing program must have a graduate degree and a nursing degree. Faculty, 35% of faculty are have to be full-time. Faculty in, in RN programs must hold a graduate degree. Faculty in PN programs must hold a BSN degree. Faculty in education and adult learning principles can participate in continuing education. And they also have to be certified um, simulation faculty. There are a couple more, but those are the big ones. Students, the program must assist students have, who have learning disabilities. Um, they also have to assist students where English is their second language. Um, they have to show um, remediation 
strategies, and they also have to provide proper school books if the student is unable to get those books for themselves. Curriculum and clinical experience. 50% of clinical time has to be hands-on patient care. Curriculum evaluation plan, quality and safety education. Now, teaching and learning resources, accredited simulation lab, technology and additional, or sorry, technology and educational resources for the student. And they also have to have interchangeable curriculum that will effectively evaluate students with learning disabilities. Higher education universities, professional standards. The Essentials of Baccalaureate Education for Professional Nursing Practice was written in 2008 by the American Association of Colleges of Nursing, also known as AACN. This is to support the framework of any baccalaureate nursing program or curriculum. Achievement of these outcomes will enable graduates to practice within complex healthcare systems and assume the roles of the provider of care, designer, manager, slash coordinator of care, and a member of a profession. There are nine essential outcomes um, of this baccalaureate education for professional nursing practice. Um, essential nine describes general nursing practice after the baccalaureate nursing education program. This essential includes practice focus outcomes that integrate the knowledge, skills, and attitudes that are presented in essentials one through eight. For our group that we picked, our master's plan covers the CCNE standard number three, um, the curriculum and teaching learning practice. Watson's theory of human caring caritas process number four is developing and sustaining a helping, trusting, authentic relationship. Gene Watson describes this theory as becoming more compassionate and aware of not only personal difficulties, but of other difficulties as well. Gene Watson states that this theory is about being present in the moment, being mindful and connecting with other humans and the connection you make through this with another person. It goes beyond an ego level. I believe that this is the theory that I would like to guide my nursing practice. This theory best fits me because it shows how I want to be as a nurse educator. I want my students and coworkers to feel comfortable discussing any topic with me. I want them to have the ability, I want to have the ability to be that haven for them and to promote a helping, trusting, authentic caring relationship. Caring science can enhance and support me in developing and implementing a nursing education curriculum by helping me as an educator. Remember that caring science will display the core foundation for the nursing profession. Jean Watson discusses how caring science provides the moral and physiological theoretical foundation starting point for nursing education. Just This is just my reference list. Um, thank you for taking the time to listen to my presentation.